this morning, so this morning, this morning it's it. it's it's foggy, and this afternoon the temperature coming down. You're gonna want drops? a bigger <laughs> coat. I like that. Drops, very yeah. good. That's very good. good. Drops there's like a, it's hot. Or there's like it's arrowheads. You got some some drops out there on the pavement. I mean, you'll need your windshield wipers this morning uh, with the drizzle that we have and the fog. We're no stranger to that. We've had that the last couple of mornings. But you see the condensation here on our Capitol Federal City View Cam there in the plaza, and it's just drizzle and fog city here this morning. Now, thankfully, we're above freezing, so we don't have any concerns for ice. 45 degrees, and that, that might be a little deceiving. Might step outside and go, hey, not that bad. There's colder air coming for this afternoon. That's lurking across northern Missouri. See all that blue? Low 30s there from Maryville to Trenton, clashing with the warmer air to the south here over Interstate 70. The cold air is going to get the go-ahead run for today, and it's coming through by the end of the day. So warmer coats this morning. You'll need them this afternoon on our first alert day planner as the cold front comes through with wind this afternoon, clearing the clouds and the fog out. So it has sunshine by the end of the day, but look at that 6 o'clock temperature. 30 degrees with wind chill values in the 20s. So kids heading out to school are also going to need the warmer coat. Let's look ahead now to the part of the forecast that I didn't get to do my hand signals for. This is our next storm system, which will start Thursday night with light snow and sleet, which are little ice pellets. And by Friday morning, our temperatures start to get a little wacky. So this is likely going to be a mix or a change through snow, sleet, and then freezing rain. And then eventually, as temperatures crawl above freezing Friday afternoon, it would be a steady rain with wind, with rain showers and wind for Friday evening. Now, some of the big question marks, which could have a big impact, are how long do we stay in each one of those types of precipitation, snow and sleep, and then the freezing rain, which would be ice. Now, thankfully, again, our temperatures climb above freezing during the day on Friday, all the way through Friday night. Uh, but we could certainly have impacts to Friday morning's drive and then rain for Friday evening's drive. Much colder air over the weekend for the Mavericks at home, Saturday 34, and then the Chiefs. Well, these numbers keep dropping here. The temperatures 13 degrees in the morning, 27 Sunday afternoon, but no snow to clean up there. So we're just dressed super warm there at Arrowhead. That's not going to throw us off there. Next week, Arctic air comes in again. So that's going to put our lows in the single digits and teens to start and highs in the 20s Monday and Tuesday.